So I got this thing put back together and I've rode it a little bit. Let me tell you, I think this is a sweet spot. 16 gram rollers, one millimeter shim, factory tires. This thing will spin the back tires when it breaks loose and the belt stays where it needs to be on the RPM. Like it doesn't bog even in high. Like you'll see, it's it's just a hoss now. Uh, it did slow the top speed down uh, from 20 gram rollers factory to 16 to a one millimeter shim for bumping the rev under at 59, 60 mile an hour. It used to bump it at 60 four mile an hour with just 18 gram rollers uh, with a one millimeter shim and 18 gram rollers it bumped it at 61 62 but let me tell you the trade-off dude it's it's awesome like it really so much better if it doesn't spin on the pavement stuff like it's it's phenomenal like, i'm gonna show you uh, i already made one 13 minute video and it wouldn't wouldn't come off the GoPro. I don't know what's up with it. See what I mean? That's about half throttle. Like, it's a freaking hoss. Like, it's got more power now. You can just tell when you hit this thing. Mind you, this is in high. she does here. A little bit. And of course low is low. It's going to be super touchy and low. Right. Here we go. No pulling up. I'm going to have to hang on a little bit. If you'll notice, I'm not giving a lot of guys. But let me tell you, This is what I've been hunting with this four wheeler. See, I wasn't happy with my King Quad 500 till I put a 1.5 and 16 gram rollers in it. But what's this? Look at that. It's a, it's a freaking beast. I ain't pulling up on it neither. Now this four wheeler's always wheelied a little more than others. And, well, they seem to have more power than others. Notice how it's right there on the power. Belt's right where it needs to be. No braking, brake boosting the belt, I call it. You know what I mean by that is holding both brakes just a little. As you let off the brake, you punch it. 30, 35, 37. I got a wet plug into the 40s riding the wheelie. All right, and we're gonna go back to the same spot and I'm gonna show you uh, no brake boosting. I'm just gonna nail it. Let's see if it spins, it spins, you know, whatever. Mind you, my max is still as halfway. Right? I just took this thing out of my car and I didn't take my camera. These tires suck in the leaves. They ain't worth the crap. <laughs> see what I mean? I'm not even pulling up on it. I'm just gunning it. I'm not. See where I'm sitting? I'm not sitting back on the seat. But listen where the RPMs are. Every RPM, it's right in the power. 25. It'll run 60, bumping a rev limiter, but I'm gonna tell you something, boys. These four go anywhere I want them to on stock tires. They really, really do. Let's see how it drifts. Listen to that thing. 
right in the power van. Three wheels, baby. He <laughs> had the front tire off the ground. <laughs> I'm saying that is because it'll do everything it needs to do in this quarter mile. Let's see if it above the rev limit. I've tried 18 grams with a one millimeter shim I didn't like. I took the shim back out, rode it for a year, didn't particularly like it, and I said, I've got to do 16 gram rollers and put the one millimeter shim back in. Let me tell you, that's it, boys. That is the ticket. If you're hunting bottom end power where the belt will stay where it needs to be at all RPMs and you want to keep running stock tires, that's it. And here's something else. Maxxis Zilla tires, correct me if I'm wrong, put in the comments below, are some of the lightest mud tires. I love leaving stock size tires on these fullers because I can take them anywhere they want to go. I've went with Can-Ams on 30 inch tires. Matter of fact, we've even had some mud holes that come out of a ravine and come straight up a hill that some Renegades on 30 inch Zillas wouldn't go where this thing would go on stock tires. Uh, not saying that to brag on the fuller, just telling you what I've seen with it. That's it, boys. Uh, this will be a 2,500 mile review. 2,300, actually 2,323 miles. Been a priceless fuller in 2,300 miles. Only reason I snorkeled the CVT is because I like it better like that. Um, uh, there's not a whole lot to mumble on about. These are some of the best foilers, in my opinion, on the market. I've rode with Hondas. I've rode with Kawasaki's. Every Honda I've rode with in the past year or two has issues. New ones, old ones, uh, whether it's brakes, um, overheating when you get in the mud, Can-Ams, breaking belts. Let's see. Kawasaki brute force. Uh, had one of them with 100 hours on it, still looked brand new. Hit developed the oil leak you couldn't see, and the motor locked up because of it. I just I love a King Quad. They're simple. You can modify them pretty easy. There's not a whole lot of aftermarket support, but 
there's enough forums that people can point you in the right direction for stuff. So, 2300 mile update. This is one of the best fullers, in my opinion, you can buy. If you want to give it a little more power like I've did, you've seen what I've done. One millimeter shim, change the factory 20 gram metal rollers to 16 gram. Without further ado, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload stuff. Y'all have a good day.